Hello everyone and welcome to a game a lot of people have been requesting, none other than Civilization VI. I do ask you to be patient with us as I have never played Civilization VI before. However, I have played Civilization V, so maybe it won't be too bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and if you do leave a comment down below and subscribe. Hey yo, how old is she? She'd be looking damn fine though. Joe, you creepy old man that is his daughter, clearly, Jesus Christ, 20 seconds into the game, and you have already made the entire audience uncomfortable by saying that about a minor. Can we just start the game before Sleepy Joe gets arrested or something, and I have to share my luxury Trump brand jail cell with him because I would rather take the chair than spend a night in the same room with Sleepy Joe. All right, so in civilization, picking your civilization is always one of, if not the most important step. So let's take our time and chose carefully, all right? I choose the United States. Shut up, here we go, lads. We... Donald, did you even bother reading the perks that the United States gives in this game? This was meant to be one of the most important parts of the entire video. The only important part of this video will be you guys watching me make America great again in this game as I masterfully expand from sea to shining sea, waving the flag of liberty everywhere we go. All right, whatever, Donald. I guess we should make another warrior unit since barbarians might try and kill us soon as we expand out, so building up might be a good idea. Hey, um, Donald, what are you doing with our one starting warrior unit? I am simply thinking like a businessman, George. In today's world, those who expand the fastest and most aggressive do the best as they take up the largest market share. So I am simply exploring the North American continent so that we are the first ones to control the entire continent and not some silly little Native American tribe who is technically here first or something. Jesus, there is just so much to unpack there. So first of all, we are not in today's world, as you put it. Second of all, the very existence of barbarians in the game will make your stupid idea near suicidal, as we will have to defend to many cities with our own warriors being too busy exploring, which will slow down our progress overall. And are you even listening to me, Donald? What were you talking about? I stopped listening after I heard things I don't agree with. It's weird I haven't seen any barbarians yet, so maybe we are fine anyway and we were just a little paranoid. You guys should be thanking me because of my brilliant natural ability in business, I have expanded our known world exceptionally, and soon the entire continent will be ours. Well, what the hell are these? Oh, so this is the policy area where you can exchange new policies to get bonuses, like reducing the time it takes to produce something, or gain a bonus in something else in the game. It's one of the classic features of Civilization as a franchise. It feels kind of empty in this game. I remember there being a lot more in Civilization V, you know? I was expecting a level of idiocy that bad form Trump or Sleepy Joe, not you, Obama. Did you really forget that you have to fucking unlock shit in this game? It is literally one of the most well-known facts about this game that it has a skill tree kind of thing to unlock it. Oh, wonderful. Trump's natural ability to be a dumbass has left us defenseless, and now there are barbarians around the Capitol. What is your plan now, Mr. J for genius Trump? Even if we made another warrior, it would take several turns, and you better pray to God that those barbarians don't feel like stealing our worker or attacking our capital. Biden, you simply do not understand the Sigma male grind set. Sigma rule number 83794 is always sending your best warriors far away from your capital as possible during a possible invasion so that people know you don't need anyone else to fight your own battles. Do you need to talk to my therapist, Donald? You seem to be troubled by something that is causing severe autism that isn't genetic, considering how successful everyone in your family was before you. Like I bet your birth was put into those seconds before disaster struck compilations. Well, since Donald sent our troops to northern Canada, might as well deal with the barbarians hiding out up here so that we don't have to deal with them later. As it seems that the entire eastern seaboard is completely unpopulated by other nations or city-states. So we will have a fairly decent time taking over a large chunk of territory and maybe even colonizing in the future. See, what did I tell you? I was simply playing our cards close to our chest so that we would be able to take advantage of the grand American geography later on in our games with an aggressive westward and northern expansion focus and successfully make America great again. If you think starting the game with the goal of speedrunning expansion and sending your army to the other side of the fucking map is your idea of playing your cards close to your chest. I am scared of what your open and aggressive plan would have been and how much would it have ruined our entire game and made us look stupid in the comments section just like that Hoi 4 and City Skylines video we played. 
I thought people thought we were smart. Do they really think we are stupid? I'm not dumb. I read an entire book last year, man, and my IQ was so high that I got to have special attention on for doctors who wanted to study me for having one of the best scores in the whole world. It was almost as high as my best golf game. Good thing we made that new warrior unit. I was able to move them into Florida and trap this foolish barbarian unit, and now they're going to have to die where they stand in the fiery pits of hell known as Miami, Florida. Over the next few turns, of course, because we don't have the attack damage yet to one-shot the barbarians. So yeah, I mean, I still had a good plan to trap them here anyway, so I give myself props for that. Joe, you aren't a Napoleonic genius for simply standing in front of them like it is some kind of caveman-era game of red light, green light. All you did was follow them and then beat the shit out of them like Obama when he was still in his hood gang days. The fuck did you just say about me, you little shit? I will have you know I have the nuclear launch codes and I will nuke the shit out of mar largo you racist overfed orange. Now shut the fuck up. Why are you sending the settler over there when it has a good spot to build a city symbol over there where there is more farmland, no barbarians, and it is closer to where Donald sent our warrior unit, so now we can hopefully use him again instead of having a useless unit running around taking damage because Donald thinks this is 1845 and he is about to beat the shit out of the Mexicans to take some land or something. Joe, will you shut up? I get that your mind is too degraded from eons of being alive, but you cannot diss my strategy that has not only mapped all of Canada, but now will be able to map all of the Great Plains, which will be the first step in making America great again. Donald, will you please, for the love of God, understand the fact that one you don't need to own all of the United States before the classical age even starts, and two, that I don't think there is any other civilization that spawns here, considering we use the historical spawn setting, so I think we have the entire North American continent to ourselves for the most part, unless some random Mexican tribe or something decided to go north instead of south. Oh shit, should we be worried about that, guys? Nah, don't worry, I'm sure that they will leave and respect our property rights just like any good future us citizen that comes from the northern half of the continent would. I think we should just focus on getting more cities at this point so we don't have to worry about it later down the road. What the hell do you mean from the northern half of the continent? What about the southern half? Well, we all know that half is well known for stealing things, jobs, homes, wives, children, wallets, and more. Well, I'm gonna go to my bunker, good luck, Donald. Shit, why is one of my aides telling me to get to the bunker? Oh, shit. What the fuck just happened? Donald, are you okay? Donald? Donald, please speak to us. Obama just dropped a nuke on a Palm Beach, Florida. What the fuck? Get wrecked, barbarians. I am really showing these barbarian hordes who is boss right now. Guys, be proud of me. I am such a gamer right now. Did anyone else notice the nuclear bombing told us to subscribe at the end? Uh, don't worry, guys. I am fine. I was pretending I was never in Palm Beach because I knew Obama would violate several nuclear test ban treaties while playing a game someday. So right now I am in New York City because he would never dare to nuke a city this big and cripple the United States for the rest of its life. Don't push your luck, Donald, you silly goober. Oh, Obama, you are such a scallywag. This truly is a pretty funny situation, isn't it, guys? Guys, Obama just killed half a million people and you called him a goober and a scallywag? These are war crimes even worse than Yemen. How am I going to get reelected when people know a Democratic president launched a nuclear weapon at a major U.S. city? This isn't funny, guys. I have to do something about this god fucking damn it. I can blame it on Iraq again if you want to have some fun in there. Whatever I have to go, I have an emergency cabinet meeting now. Thanks a lot, Obama. You know how much fucking paperwork I'm going to have to do now that you killed 500,000 people. I will be doing my job for at least 20 whole fucking minutes instead of playing games with you guys. This wasn't funny. I guess I will do the outro since I was clearly the MVP of this game today.
Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and leave a comment down below on what game you'd like us to play next. And most of all, come back tomorrow for more daily presidential gaming content. Good night, my fellow Americans.